Yeah. Let's get it. And me, Daniel Fytower. It's great to be here, although it's long overdue since I was invited to come here. Have you never received an invite before? Not, not one. They have been nagging at me for years to come on the show, but I have been flat out busy, you know, the fat lovey lovers. Is that right? Yeah. I haven't had one invite for how many years? One invite. Well, anyway, we're here now, and that is all that matters. Coming up on the show today... <sighs> <laughs> that was my line. The two-part grand finale of How's He Wine. Apart from Shaka over there, the rest of us are actually good people, actually. When you build your house on bricks and not sand. So I'd say, like, the thing that makes me the most unique is the fact that I'm very culturally rooted. And shout out to my parents for making sure of that. <laughs> First up, and I am super excited to do this. Me too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is a slice of my world. Uh, Pippa. It's our world. Yeah, our world. Our world. I'm not sure how exciting your world is, to be honest, well, Daniel. Actually, just quietly, I'm the new TVNZ Europe correspondent. Oh, Europe correspondent? Huge. That is a big continent, big. huh? Here is an episode of My World. Our, our world. Tassi Lua. There's two of us. want the latest technology, but there's a price to pay for connectivity. Oh, that was so it? fantastic. It was, of course, Brooke and Jay Williams. Of the Treasury website faced more than 2,000 attempted hacks in a 48-hour period. But it's the young girl's backstory that makes the achievement pretty amazing. Tell us three fresh facts about you. Uh, nothing. This is it. This is my life. I went straight from uni, in fact, straight from uni to TVNZ. Wow. I know. I need to get out more. <laughs> I need to get out more. Boring life. I was dishing out blue plastic trays at about 30,000 feet, <laughs> going tea, coffee, tea, coffee, within wow. New Zealand. So I used to be a flight attendant. A lot of people, when they first meet me, they go, oh, you're really tall. That's probably the biggest thing I get. My mum is from Falealupo, and my dad is from Murivai Safata. I am born and bred on Auckland's North Shore. Shore girl. My dad's German Samoan, so a lot of aunts and uncles. You know, basically the whole island. The whole yeah, island. The whole of the island. Cool. I speak Samoan fluently, English and Japanese. So when I started school, I couldn't speak English. I had to read books like Green Eggs and Ham from the age of 10. Palangis tend to come up to me and say, God, you speak English well. <laughs> And I just sit there going, oh. Often people will stop me and I'll be like, hey, you're on Shortland Street, eh? <laughs> like, oh, you're on Wentworth, the guard. Quick note oh. to director, you feel free to sit me on this couch with uh, Robbie Magasiva whenever you like. What's I it like being like... for you? People must look at you and think, you ain't no Samoan girl, look at you. You know, you'd meet someone and they'd say, oh, I'm Samoan, and I'd say, oh, I'm Samoan too, and they'd kind of go, really? Yeah, yeah. You know, I haven't had to deal with some of the things that people have had to deal with growing up as Samoan in this country, because I don't look as Samoan. Do you think that's helped you in a way with your career? I don't... As opposed... I've never thought that before, but I don't know. I mean, I was first employed 20 years ago. I think things are a bit different now from what they used to be, and I think there probably is far more focus on diversity. It was never a moment where I thought I should let people know about this, because I just always was. I always knew that. And now I guess I'm more aware of having to put it out there yeah. rather than just thinking, well, people will be able to tell, yeah, yeah. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Born in Christchurch. Born in Christchurch, but my grandmother raised me. But grandma was always strict. She was like, you don't nung at home. But grandma loved Days of Our Lives, but she couldn't understand a word they were saying. So I thought, hey, grandma, if you let me translate it by learning English, then I can translate what they're saying to you. And it worked. Here I am, a boy who couldn't speak English, now reading to the nation because of my grandma. And Days of Our Lives. And your bow and hope. Bow and hope. Bow and hope. Bow and hope. That was it. If you weren't where you are now, what would you be doing? Well, if I wasn't on this couch sitting with you, I'd be on this couch sitting with Robbie Makasiva, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> we have to be a 
florist. Really? Yeah. But that love of nature and things is, I think, really grown in me. That is career number two. What would you be doing? Working as a journalist, you kind of advocate mm. for um, the voiceless and for a lot of minorities. So I think I would have gone into law. That's much attention. better than florist, isn't it? I know, it? I just thought, oh, <laughs> flowers die. And... Wait, How do you represent your Samoan oh. side? I think in being a good person and doing the things that I guess in Samoa we hold dear. So you are beyond loyal and faithful to your family. You would do anything for your family. You know, I feel like I'm a strong woman who wants to fight for other people and that is through and through Samoan, isn't it? Awesome. That was like a Miss Piha question <laughs> for the finalists. <laughs> it's like something going well. Tell me what your favourite thing about your Samoan heritage is. Family and food. That's the best thing it's about good answer. being Samoan. Mm. That's what real fat Samoan is. Mm. Good chats, lots of laughing, and just blessed to have family. Because mm. family's important. Oh, it's everything, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Now, make sure you come back after the break. For the two part grand finale. Yes, of oh. Hussey Waves. <laughs> Why are you talking like that? Like what? Like that. <laughs> Why are you trying to be fresh? No. Pack the car, pretend we care, and that we're here for the deceased. Away! Day Z Daisy! And where's Barkley Busby? Oh, boss. You know Busby, eh? Some days you're here, some days you're not. Unpredictable. Hello for lover and welcome back to Fresh. You're with me, Daniel, and here's Pippa. Have you ever been in a swimsuit or a beauty pageant? <laughs> Actually, Daniel, it is funny you should ask because you are sitting next to Miss Pakatoa Island, 1983. I kid you not. Okay, it's not about you, but this <laughs> is about fresh out the box because there's a Polynesian sister out there oh. who graced Sports Illustrated. You were talking about Veronica Pomei. That's right, She's Veronica Pomei. She's my home Pomette. girl. She's my home girl. Don't do that. Home girl. <laughs> Real. Yeah, home girl. What's up, you guys? It's your girl Veronica Pomee, and I'm from New York City. I am fresh out the box because I broke the box. I started out as a community organizer, and we used to put together events for young people to come and creatively express themselves. And we organized a charity fashion show to raise money to feed the homeless. And I was walking in the show, and someone from the crowd seen me and approached me afterwards to walk with her during LA Fashion Week. So it kind of just happened by accident. So last year, uh, Sports Illustrated held its model search. You were able to submit a video on Instagram. And then it was also the first time they had an in-person model search. So anyone could come out and try out for it in Miami. I didn't know how I was gonna do it. Um, at the time, I was working three jobs as a waitress, as a bartender, and as a nanny. The day that we showed up to the model search, there were 20,000 uh, RSVP, 10,000 physical bodies showed up, and only 5,000 girls were seen. And of the 5,000, they cut it into 67. Um, who were able to come back for day two of interviews. We basically made it to the next round. And then from the 67, they cut it into 16. And I was part of the 16. And then earlier this year in January, they cut it into six. And so I'm the only plus size model and the only woman of color in the six as of right now. <laughs> See, my definition of beauty is definitely like your essence, like your vibe. Um, I grew up not really thinking highly of myself, and I was always the bigger girl, so I immediately knew that in order to get anyone to notice me, I'd have to capture them with my personality. And so a lot of people always ask me, you know, just different things about what I do for my skin or, you know, where I got my confidence from, and I really 
believe that it was something that happened in the inside. I cultivated that and it just manifested into the physical attributes. So I'd say like the thing that makes me the most unique is the fact that I'm very culturally rooted and shout out to my parents for making sure of that. <laughs>
Whoa, be still, my beating fatu. <laughs> I tell you right now, goodness me. Just can't stand the tension. Will the night king all over mm, again? Stay clinging to the edge of your mats because we have got the grand finale after the break. Excuse me. Ah! Hi, sorry. No, this is not the agreed payment. What are the extra fees? Well, if you see here, we had to add on an extra 4% for loss of brain cells, another 5%. Oh, hey, Dad, um, you reckon I can borrow 20 bucks from the church tithings? Who are we, stupid? Who are we, rich? Who are we, a bank? Welcome back to Fresh. Yes, and welcome back to the grand finale of Housey Wives. Papa. Why do you have to shout for? I'm shouting. I was just yeah. being clear, getting my point across. I think the neighbours are about... closing their window. They could. They hear wanted me. to hear me. But you don't need to hear. shout. Howdy, oh, wise. Strong woman. Yeah. So is that her son? No. But they're like the same age. Her new pasta salad had other dishes at the back of his fridge. I hate salads, but that's a salad. I would fall into my mouth. Talofa, talofa o, talofa fafitai, sapasui. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody for being here on such an unclear, quiet day. Um, there's actually someone really important to Pastor Salad that I'd like to introduce you to. This is Caesar. He's got a few things he'd like to share. Oh. 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 Well. Uh... What an occasion to be having this uh, introduction. Thank you. Um, um, so, you know, Pastor Salad, wherever he is, he would have wanted us to enjoy this day in celebration of his life. Thank you. Play. Uh, Seth, could you please just um, zoom in a little bit, just real quick? Uh, sorry? Yeah, just in, just zoom in, into the corner here. Uh, a little bit more, further here. Um... What? Um, why, why are his hands on her breast scissors? Oh my gosh, it's gospel. The hell's he call her? <laughs> yes, let's get it. Ah! Hi, sorry. We just thought we'd give you the invoice for today's job before you go. No, this is not the agreed payment. What are the extra fees? Well, if you see here, we had to add on an extra 4% for loss of brain cells, another 5% for doctor visits due to near heart failures. Cured and another 10% for ruining Tangata Funeral Land for no reason. So how would you like to pay cash, credit, if post? Oh my gosh. We can oh. even apply for Kiwi Save a day if you like. I think you can Fine. Thank, Thank you. you. <sighs> Text me Gospel's address right now. I hope my funeral's this lit.
not see that coming. Well, now Ooh. we can finally close the Housey Wives chapter. It has been great spending the morning with you. Yeah, it sure has. You have a great fresh weekend. Keep watching next week for the world premiere special documentary on Paris Goebel and her smash hit world tour. Paris Goebel, famous choreographer Paris Goebel. World hip hop dance champion. Paris Goebel has worked with some of the biggest names in the business. What's up guys, I'm Paris Goebel, I'm the creator of the Paris Dance Studio, and this is the Paris Project. That is your fresh news. Fast or four. Maybe we say it together. Okay. Will you jump down? One, two. So far, say four. four. So four. Yeah. Okay. One, two. So far, so four. four. Taro. Really? Yeah. I would have picked you to be breadfruit. <laughs> Bungie Bobble. <Bobo. see>. Really? <laughs> Orca. Orca. Yeah. Mm, Orca. Mm, I do mm. like supper soy, but. Oh, absolutely. That's a tough one. Actually, the way I like to do it is blend them. 